process. Good. That's awesome. Let's go on speaker. Let's go. We are live on Facebook, Roger. All right, Great. welcome. Yes, Roger wanted to start today. Um, Higher State Solutions. Roger and Jana are live again. So we want to talk about intention and what you just start with um, the message and what you feel called to share. Okay. Now. Yes. Um, when we were going to start this, Yarna said, okay, we're going to, our subject today is intention. So what I did was I went to my writings and I went back to 2012 and I searched for in the word intention. And I just got to explain this to everyone because we all operate from our consciousness and we all have it. We just access it in different ways. Everything is about mindset. Everything is about raising our consciousness continually, our awareness so that we can own who we are, live the best lives and create something to put into the world. Mine came through in a different way and it came through in precisely for this time in our world. And so I can go back to pretty much anything and people don't understand this, but I'm gonna talk about it now uh, because it's a, this is crazy, that doesn't make sense. But I can go in and search any word that someone or any difficulty or something that someone's have, and I can find it through all of the writings, but specifically in 2012. So I'm going to read the one, the first one that came up, and then I'm going to discuss it because I want people to leave with a better understanding of what might be going on for them. But the message is there is no more important thing you can do but to remain focused on your intention with anything you attempt to do. First of all, it becomes important for you to seek to know what that intention is before you begin. Then, when you have that intention in mind, to remain true to it. You will find many times in the past where you begin with a clear intention and then allow outside distractions to take you off course, so to speak. You can think of it as a dream trip you desire to take. You have the idea of the destination in mind. So therefore, whatever you do need to do to arrive is of little consequence and the journey itself is then enjoyable. That was the message. And that one was one that's most folks, it's, it's difficult for us to accept and understand, but I'm gonna explain it. We will have an idea of who we're going to become or all of that, or we have a, a vision of what we wanna do in our lives. But then that belief that it's us, that we're supposed to do it can be really challenging. And so what happens is we can go off. We don't stay focused on it. We have distractions that show up. So we'll do everything else under the sun, except the thing that has come to us through our intuition, first of all, and then um, we start to see it, but will we act on it? So, but anyway, the intention behind something is far more powerful, meaning that it's energy. So if I'm clear about I'm doing something because I want my life to improve, that intention is going to manifest the correct results for me. But if I'm doing something where my intention is to steal or take something for someone else, or I think I don't have enough, then I'm going to receive those results as well. So if I, but I become, sometimes we can't become aware of our intentions because we've also been programmed probably mm -hmm. to not believe them, accept them, or think that we're just making it up. Yeah, I do relate a lot to that because i just had a few conversations in the last days and i'm very much aware that of that many people they don't know what they do and they're not aware of what they're talking about in many ways and to let go of the need um to change them Right, because you you can see sometimes things from from the outside that the person who is not living intentionally their best life, then the people or like the person itself, the individual, the individual, 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 yeah. So for for me to learn to, I, I would love to give it all right away. Although sometimes mm -hmm. people don't want to hear 
or they are not ready to hear what you have to share. So what can you say to this, Roger? I'm well, no, I want you to you're going to share it because you are in the perfect position now to talk about what I wanted everyone to understand. And the reason I'm going to in my program where I said we're going to start working on relationships, because those are the things that most of us are going to have difficulty with coming up. Our world is changing. We can all feel it. They're different. And so our ideas about who we are and all of that are changing. And, the, and other people, they're going to be changing as well. We're going to discover things about ourselves that we hadn't known. We're going to discover things about others that we hadn't known. And then what's going to come up is our judgment. Our judgment is either going to come up about who we are or who they are, what whatever it might be. And when we understand that everything is energy, we're mm -hmm. going to start to make different decisions about that because of what we want in our lives. And what we want in our lives is to become happy. And so if we're going to, and like you said, you're in the, and I'm going to let you talk about whatever you want to talk about, but you are in the perfect example now because you've been gone from your home and now you're back. And so then you're seeing things in a different way because the energies have changed in our world. They have changed within you and they have changed within your family. And that's the thing that we're all going to have to come to um, some sort of agreement with or consensus or some sort of peace with within mm -hmm. ourselves. That's what you're doing. So what I want to have people understand is the best thing that you can ever do is to love yourself in such a way that you love yourself and others for wherever they are in their journey and whatever they decide to do in their lives or in this present moment. I think that we are all on our own way of discovering who we are and we're all doing that in our own speed in our own way and sometimes even in several lifetimes and not everyone is yet as far as you might are if you listen to this right now as i believe the people who are listening to this the people who are watching this they will be attracted mm -hmm. to that conversation because they can take certain things out so i've been away out of germany for three and a half years and i came back five days ago i changed my whole life around in terms of how i choose to live my life and i became very intentional with what i'm doing and my priority is to feel good to what, with what I do, to align my thoughts and my actions so that I can feel and am aligned with who I am. This is something that takes patience, to practice patience, and it takes courage because the most of the people, they do what they do, and sometimes it feels like they try to hold you down or hold you back, but they don't do this intentionally. They just not aware of them doing this. So this is something that it's many people aren't aware of what they do. Many people aren't even able to watch themselves doing what they're doing. They're too busy with being in stress. They live in fear, they live in stress, and they have no chance really to calm down because the program is running the show. And the program usually is based on fear. So there's so much to come. I visited a very, very deep place. And I started recording a diary, I don't know if I told you, of videos that I record on my phone and I want mm -hmm. to make them available one day for people to see the journey that I'm on to give them a more 
personal insight mm -hmm. so that they then can learn from my experience and how I handle certain situations. So I go a bit more in depth in that as well. And this is what I want to make available for people one day as well. Not sure when yet I do record them intentionally for a certain period of time and they can put them out there and then people can see it. But it's important for us to acknowledge us for who we are, for where we are at, and acknowledging others for who they are and where they are at. So, Roger. Where we're at, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that because I need people mm -hmm. to understand because we can look at things happening in the world now and think this doesn't make any sense. And um, and we've heard the word unprecedented so much over the last several years. This has never happened before. These things have never occurred. We can even see it in our weather. We can see it in everything that's happening in the world now. And we wonder, well, yeah. why is that going on? What's well, going on? Because we're all trying to become our best selves. That's really what's happening. So, mm -hmm. and so when you said now, we have to understand this is a very different time in our world so people are going to be experiencing something that they've never done some people are awakening to things within them that they never knew they had or expected or all of that some people are in incredible amount of fear because they think the world's going to end that's not happening but that's how it feels because of the energies that are going on and i say it's not going to happen unless we do what <laughs> follow through with our intention because every person has something they were given to bring to the world that could cause them to be wonderful and happy and all of that and then add that energy to the world we will come awakening is understanding that you are an, an essential part of the world you why you were born and understand that you accomplish that energetically and those inner and that the it's through the choices that we make every day about how we choose to mm -hmm. think about ourselves and how yeah. we choose to think about others that's what we're doing it's such a key I, i'm i'm really on the hot spot right now i feel that i'm really working through mm. judgments i work through <clears throat> old triggers old patterns within myself and within the family my ancestry line mm -hmm. and it really mm. takes courage to do what you're doing to mm -hmm. to to be who you are and and to name certain things and then Again, if there are different ways of living, if people choose to go along different paths mm -hmm. to still be compassionate, to still find, find peace, but also to be okay with being alone, spending time by ourselves, reflecting on what is it that we want? What mm -hmm. type of life do we, do we want to live? what energizes me and what is draining me right the people that i'm surrounded by do they uplift me or do they drain me mm -hmm. like and then being very intentional with who we spend our time with to what degree are we spending the time with certain people or in in what manner how much and how much time do we invest in ourselves to become better like for me it is about being better now than i have been a minute ago a second ago like every moment is a chance for me to choose to be better to be more compassionate to be more kind and then every moment that is challenging okay wow why is it challenging for me mm. um you're no you're in, i'm going to talk we're, we'll 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 kind of round it out with this because i want everybody to understand this next week when i told you i'm going to be on vacation it's because i have um family members coming from out of town i haven't seen them in years and in person anyway and we've done yeah we've done things online but being in person is going to be a little different experience and mm -hmm. they're going to have very different ideas and beliefs than what i hold now and they're not the same as what they were when I was younger and when we were all a different family. And so, but I, so I have to make a choice and my intention is going to be, I have to 
have a good time. And me having a good time is, is moving over whatever ideas, beliefs that they may hold that I don't agree with and say, okay, great, have that, but I'm going to have a good time because having a good time means loving who I am and believing in who I am. And I yeah. need, and the more people come to understand that we will start to see these gentle shifts happen in our world, but we've got to start first within ourselves. And I'm saying that because a lot of people won't want to look, and I understand that because I've been talking about some subjects recently that people will just say, no, we can't talk about that. We don't want to look at the old stuff. And we can't, if we don't look at the old stuff, we can't get the new stuff. We can't become, um, live incredible lives if we're not willing to uncover what we didn't understand about who we were, what we judged about ourselves, and all of that. Because any judgment, any self-judgment that we have is self-defeating also. And that's a one that's really challenging for us to uh, come to. But we will. Yeah, this is a beautiful intention that you said there. Because it is about our own happiness. And the moment yes. that we are happy and we do what it's right for us what feels right for us and really truly feels good mm -hmm. from a from a soul perspective like we are yes. living on purpose right you as a intuitive life purpose coach you know what i'm talking about there and then i think every time we don't feel good mm -hmm. we are not on purpose right probably probably not because no matter how horrible the situation might be, mm -hmm. something in us is, okay, well, I'm, it's not comfortable, but I'm still on purpose. So I can somehow deal with the struggle in a different way. And I know that everyone, everyone has to deal with relationship challenges, mm -hmm. I'd say. And to conquer those challenges requires courage to do what you want to do and to allow others to do the same without expecting them to be a certain way, expecting the best, no matter what the best might be for all is being compassionate and actually having the overview about the whole situation. And then we have to leave, yeah, our ego behind. And you're talking about, <laughs> that was just wonderful what you just said. <laughs> but it's this higher level of understanding that we don't always get there. And it's taken me decades to even understand what you just said. <laughs> so I'm glad that you said it. And I'm saying that because we can't judge ourselves by how long it takes us to come to understand our importance and mm -hmm. what we're here in the world to do. It is the, the path that we choose mm -hmm. to live. And yeah, it's been challenging for me being that <laughs> aware. That's, uh, why you, that's why you're there. That's why I'm there. Yes. Or here. Or yes. here. Or it, here. <laughs> <laughs> or there and here so exactly yeah it, it's been beautiful so in, intention intentional living makes things easier and you learn to really attract what you want to attract because if you don't set intentions if you just live out of a program you're probably not in the moment you're probably not designing the life that you want to design for yourself and you maybe even make yourself a victim from your circumstances rather than actually controlling yourself in a way that no matter what is happening outside of yourself is okay the way it is and you are in alignment with who you are and you can make the decisions that are in alignment with who you are yes and um again that's going to be that that's all really great, everything you're saying, but I want people, everyone to understand that the next bit of time as the movements keep happening in our world, that they're going to be confronted with things that are going to probably 
be uncomfortable, especially people who have been people pleasers. I'm going to speak to them first of all, people who have been people pleasers their entire lives and are going to be confronted with things like, wait a minute, I can't do that anymore. I have to really own who I am. I really have to speak my truth. I really have to do it. And that's going to come up. And so that intention, when you have that feeling, say, yes, I have to do this. It might take me a little while. But if I mm -hmm. want to love myself, I have to also own my voice and do it in a way that it's not going to put anyone else down, but it's going to just honor who I am. And there's never mm -hmm. anything that's wrong with doing that if we do it in a loving way. And that's what we're all going to be tasked with doing over these next several months. Love that. We are, things come up. Things will come up for everyone. And yes. speak your truth. Like you don't have, if you come from a place of honesty and being in integrity with yourself, then you can speak your truth always. If you're not intent to hurt, to harm, right? If you don't hate, then you can speak your truth always. Learn to communicate your truth in a way that is healthy because people will receive your message always. And they might be triggered. They may not receive it with, <laughs> I don't know, they might try to reject it. But though some part of them is receiving your message and the moment that you speak your truth and you stay true to who you are, you will feel empowered and energized in moving forward. And it's very liberating to do that. It sets you free. Like you, you lose yourself from the change and from the cha chain that is surrounding you. And this is something the word develop in German means entwickeln. It is entwickeln. Wickeln is like something you put around something. So mm -hmm. entwickeln is to redo as if I am um, surrounded by a string, right? Mm -hmm. And I entwickel, I free myself from mm -hmm. that string. I entwickel the string. I develop myself to become brighter, to become free. Basically, I don't know if I made the point right now, but it's such a powerful yeah. word word yeah. to use because people are, it's like prison. Some people feel like prison within their own skin because they mm -hmm. are not doing what they love doing. And they do things they in their own that they don't like. And this is something that we need to change. Yep. That's what we're up to cool <laughs> that's that that should we'll then we'll do more on the our next little chat we'll do more we will is there anything we want to leave the people with oh adjust that on august 1st i'm doing a channeling session so since this is being mm -hmm. streamed it's going to be a powerful day it's a full moon we're and all, everything that we're talking about now will come up during that time. And I want people to understand because it's we can either go into like a lot of fear and craziness or we mm -hmm. can create incredible life because the energy is available for that. And uh, the information that will come through on that day will be helpful for everyone. So I want people to really show up for that, which they can register on my website. They can find that. Awesome. Yeah. Universal solutions, universal knowledge. You know, there are people who find a problem for every solution and there are people who find solutions for every problem. Mm -hmm. So if you look to get solutions that you can apply in your life, no matter what topic it is about, business, finances, health, relationships, really your spiritual self, you will get those informations in the live channeling sessions always. So. Your last development program is what Watcher has developed, where I'm part of I'm doing some live meditations, some mindfulness sessions, and some more to come for sure as well. Thanks for watching. Next time we want to talk about intuition, I think was it. Perfect. Yeah. So intuition, yeah. if you don't know what your intuition is, I didn't knew. I really didn't knew. My mom said, listen to your intuition. I'm like, your intuition is in your heart, she said to me. So she's a wise woman. She is. 
<laughs> and, and I'm like, wow, to find that balance between the brain, the thinking brain and the feeling that comes from the heart has been very challenging. And I didn't really knew um, how to listen to my intuition, but um, it is basically listening to God. So if you're interested in listening to God, then dial in in the next conversation. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Jan and Roger are very, very grateful. Check out rogerburnley.com. You will find access to the channeling session over there. And yeah, my YouTube account is Healing Magic 27 right now. Much love, peace, and see you soon. <laughs>